Yo. What is up, guys? Let me get this camera adjusted. All right. What is up, guys? Jonathan Shane here with the Keto Road. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. I don't know when you're going to be seeing this video. This is my first time editing a video. Man, guys, I'm super stoked. So, we have now embarked on a journey. I want you to be part of this journey with me. I'm officially 12 weeks out from my show, and so I've officially started to do a vlog series about that, and I'm going to start vlogging my life, my daily life, and just kind of taking you all along for the ride of, of just the journey of this emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, right? And so, we're going to go ahead. i got to take my dog to the dog park, but real quick, we're going to do a body check. Let's do it. Alright, so here we go. This is what we got. So, coming in. So, we got a little bit of work to do. Today, we're going to be going to get our in body test, too, so you'll get to see all that, see exactly where I'm at via in body things like that so yeah all right fam that's where we're at we're getting there we're working on it all right peace yo guys so here are the animals we got ali ali sit say hi say hi to the people hi to the fam what's up yeah and then we got the carnivorous kitty nah his name's pumpkin he acts like a dog though look at that tail wag Wag, wag, wag. What's up, buddy? You got something to say? Yeah? But, Allie, you ready to go to the dog park? You ready to go to the dog park? Well, let's go. Yeah? What's up, guys? How y'all doing? On our way to the dog park? Ali, say what's up to the fam, yo. Say what's up. Ali. Man, she's scared out of her mind right now. All right. On my way, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit. So, one thing that y'all should know about me right off the bat, right off the bat, is that I am an associate pastor at a church plant in Katy called The Vine. And so, my spirituality will pour out through me as just... Who I am, man, it makes up the very fabric of my body. Um, and I'm a big proponent of physical and spiritual, like, motivation and strength. And so it's just something that's going to be happening. So um, one thing I'm going to be doing with you guys is, um, you know, I like to sit there and, and, and read my Bible in the mornings and kind of meditate on the things I've read. And so uh, either that or there's a Bible app called Version that I use and they have a verse of the day. And so... I want to be able to, you know, share that with y'all. And so the one today is Isaiah 41, 13. It says, For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. Um, man, that's such a broad verse. I think when we have God on our sides, right, when, when we're walking with God correctly, we, it's kind of like when you're a kid, you know, and you, um, you know, you're scared, right? You're in the, you're in the wilderness, you're in the unknown. Sorry about that. I thought my camera turned off. I'm still getting used to this camera. I'm not going to cut that out. But anyways, but... You know, so you're on your own. You're not you're not used to it. Sorry if it's really shaky, guys. I gotta work on getting a camera stand. But, anyways, you know, you, when you're a kid and you don't know what you're doing and you're scared and you're worried and your parent comes up and grabs your hand, you know, and kind of like goes, you know, it's okay. Like let's do this. Like let's go on this adventure. I think in times in life, God can send us on some really rocky adventures. Um, I am not a proponent of prosperity. I don't think that when you do what God tells you to do, it's an easy life. Because it's not. Um, but we have hope 
and things like that 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 are in those scary moments in those moments where we are afraid or in those moments that you know we're scared and we feel weak or we feel like this isn't worth it you know we can hold out our hand and our father our heavenly daddy will grab that hand and you know we can have that comfort knowing that our big parent is there to show us the way no matter how scary it looks um but yeah guys all right see you at the dog park peace What is up guys? We're here at the dog park. I thought I'd show you all this little gym. Sorry if you can't hear me. The wind is really, really loud. But here's Allie. Up, buddy. You can see all the puppies. We're about to go inside. Let's go inside. Got to get the bags for the doo doo. Check. Yo, Ali, what up? You just getting a fight with a couple dogs? She does that. Oh, look at this pretty dog. So yeah, this is the pool, guys. We kind of want to show you what we're doing right here. Ali's just chilling, sniffing, smelling like five different million dogs. Look like at a pack of wolves over there. Nice little corgi. It's a beautiful day too. Nice sunshine. Sunshine. Yo, so we just got out of the dog park. As you can tell, <laughs> look at that face. <gasps> Hi, precious. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so we're gonna go home, get the wife up, get ready for the in body. Later. <gasps> Guys, here in the car with the wifey. Say hey, wifey. Bye. Smile, something. She's only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> All right, guys, we're on our way to the end body. Peace. All right, guys, so we just got back from the end body. Babe, what do you think of your test? How'd you do? Okay, good, bad? It was good. Good? Sweet. You're taking all my stuff. Okay. All right, guys, so let's take a look real quick. So, this is where I stand as of right now. I'm gonna take y'all, I'll drive a look. Focus camera, focus. It doesn't wanna focus. Anyway, sorry if you can't read that. You're looking at about, I weigh 196. I am at a 98.8 pounds of muscle and 12.8 pound percent body fat so that's where we're at for right now um now we're gonna go eat let's go eat all right guys so real quick before we eat i want to show you all these zings are bomb diggity look at that spicy grass-fed spicy stick it's good stuff uh hard fruit i've noticed now that my camera does not focus um, but it's uh, 9 grams of fat uh, and 10 grams of protein. So yeah, good stuff. Let's eat. Right, so today, guys, we got leftover pizza. Mm. This is ketogenic. As y'all know, I have a ketogenic lifestyle. Open that up. Bam. So what we're going to do, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Just look at it. It's a fat head crust. So, with almond flour. Uh, we use Colby Jack to keep the carbs a little bit lower this time. Uh, and then some cream cheese. You make the crust, put it, pizza, pizza shape it, put it in the oven at about a, let's see, uh, about 425. Bake it till brown, top it, and boom, you're good. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna throw 
two pieces on there. Well, babe, are you eating? Yeah. She's eating. So we're gonna do four slices. So basically, we're putting all of these on the pan. Bam, bam. And then come in. So there we go. And then the other. Four twenty five. Alright. Alright guys. So here we go. We got some pizza and ranch. Y'all didn't see me pull this out, but this is keto ice cream. It's made with heavy whipping cream and coconut milk. I will might show y'all how to do that later. We got a little bit of sugar free uh, whipping cream on top. So the macros on this bad boy come out to B, let me look it up, roughly 70 grams of fat, 2 carbs, and 20 grams of protein. Alright guys, I'm going to eat this. I'll see y'all at the gym. What is up guys? Man, I want to apologize. So we had some stuff come up. I wasn't able to record the workout, however. I did get a couple short clips put on my Instagram. I'm going to try and get the... Uh, after I edit the video, I'm going to try and get my uh, Instagram follow on the screen. If not, it's at the Keto Road. That's it. No spaces. At the Keto Road. You should see my face pop off, um, pop up. Uh, but yeah, so we're back from the gym. Uh, I was talking to the wifey. We're trying to figure out what we're going to eat for dinner. But right now, I'm going to go get my post-workout meal and check my ketones. So let's go. All right, guys. So here we go. Going to get some blood. Did it not? We're going to check some blood. All right. I know you can't. Oh, there it is. You can see the screen. Let's see what happens. Point eight. All right. So, backstory on this real quick before we eat. I was with my wife eating. Um, we, we were going to check out CAPS, which is this animal shelter, right? And, sorry, I distracted. Anyways, we were going to check out some dogs and some animals, see if we wanted to get one or whatever, just look around. And there was some Italian ice outside. I'm like, all right, well, that we saw sugar-free lemon. I'm like, yeah, so I go, we get some ice, we eat it. I felt really weird afterwards, so I looked up on my phone. 20 carbs per cup 20 carbs i was like super upset um you could ask my wife they was that upset yes but you, you only had like less than half of it yeah see i didn't have a lot but still i was really beat myself up so i had to come home check my ketones so i'm still in ketosis um gonna get a little post-workout meal and then we're gonna go eat somewhere for a delicious dinner peace all right guys so what we got here we have a little bit of fish and some sunflower avocado coconut oil. I like to keep it jiffy. Cauliflower rice with mozzarella cheese with a little bit of flavor god seasoning. Macros come out to be 20 grams of fat, one carb, and 18 grams of protein. All right, I'm gonna go eat. <clears throat> Yo, what up guys? So real quick, I think one thing I want to talk to y'all about is restaurants. So right now, getting ready for my prep, it's really, really hard to eat at restaurants just because you never know what they're going to rub their food in, what they're going to coat it in. You just you just never, ever know. And so I like to accommodate the best I can. I try to get my wife to take us to restaurants that are simple. I can get a steak, grill it, rare, done, right? I like my, I like my steak still moving. Um, so I like to try and smuggle some stuff in. I know it's terrible, but it's just better for me and... Um, most restaurants are really okay with that. It really doesn't bother them that much. Hold on one second. What's up, wife? She just got her tooth, like, removed and stuff. And she's, yeah, it's painful. Anyways, so one thing I really love are miracle noodles. Okay, so these little white funky noodles. Um, they're shirataki noodles with a like, konjac root, as you can see. They're white. Um, I knew I'm going to eat steak. It's going to be salty, so I want a little bit of an acid pop. So I went ahead and did some apple cider vinegar, chili powder, uh, and a little bit of a garlic, a little salt, a little pepper. So I'm going to let that marinate. I'm going to cook that down a little bit with some spinach leaves, put it in a container, and we'll be ready to go. All right, guys. See you at the restaurant. Peace. Say hey, babe. Hi. So, guys, 
we chose Victor's Mexican restaurant. Nice little palm trees. We're gonna go inside, see what they got. Well guys, just got dinner. Let's check it out. Pork. Jalapeno sausage. Look at that salad. Babe, do you like your salad? I hope so. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Alright, let's eat. Alright guys, we're done eating. I am stuffed. Uh, real quick, I wanted to go over the macros of the day with y'all. Babe, how was your meal? Good. Good? Delicious. I had pork. It was great, as y'all saw. So, real quick, to go over the macros, we are at 176 grams of fat, 90 grams of protein, and 16 grams of carbs. Which, if uh, my coach is watching this, I know I went over my carbs by 6 grams, but to be fair, there's only one gram of fiber, and it was like all veggies. Um, but yeah, so that's it for today, guys, man. I appreciate it. If y'all like the video, like it. If you have any comments, questions, ask away. Until then, next time, guys. Peace.